met that day, uh, we had that meeting, it was with JJ, and one of the big things I think a lot of people don't know, because we have a lot of Canadians here, I remember till today, when, do you remember that, that, that board that you had, you know, and that was like, you literally just totally like changed the whole Traders Expo, you had that big, big uh, board behind you with the, with, with the Thinker Swin back then, and I remember, you know, every, the staff, everyone was there, it was just, it was, it was a great experience, and you really, you know, took it to the next level. You know, the big thing I don't think people realize about you is that you have a passion to teach people. And I think that's what I think we need to show people about the tasty works. Um, I, I always tell everyone, and I, I even had this uh, argument with you. I'm like, why do you, you, you did, you did great for yourself. Why do you do this? And I, and I, and I realized what we all do. We love what we do. We love teaching people. We love making people make them successful. We hate seeing people lose money. And I think that's why, you know, why we still do it to today and, you know, and we'll continue to do it. And uh, you know, like I said, having the greatest show out there is awesome. But, um, but you know, you have the platform here and I want, I want everybody to realize how to utilize it because, you know, I, I think, I, I think we have to kind of explain to everybody is like, what makes your platform better than everyone else's, the pricing, the platform, all that. So maybe I don't want to take too much of your time, Tom, but uh, you know, maybe you can go on and kind of show us everything that you got. I, I, I'd love to. And, and thank you for the great introduction. And yeah, we've known each other now for going on two decades and it's great. I, I, I love this industry because, you know, um, it's, I guess at this point in my life, most of my friends are, are in this business, <laughs> um, which is either good or bad or whatever else. But for me, you know, it's been that way since my early twenties. And so, um, you know, I get to talk shop with a lot of people all the time and it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of fun. You know, professional athletes, I think they have the same kind of uh, locker room kind of com camaraderie and, and, you know, relationships. But then but then then you then you grow too old to be a professional athlete. I think in the training world, you get to um, you get to do it until, you know, as I like to say, until they roll you out to the dumpster. So it, this is something, um, you know, this is something that we're all passionate about. and It's awesome. I, I think that the interesting thing that you brought up is you know, we did start Thinker some 20 years ago, I mean, 20 years ago, actually. And, and, you know, prior to that, I was a, I was a floor trader for 20 years on the floor of the SIBO. But, but the reason we started Tasty Trade and then Tasty Works was because it's, it's, it's a combination of just loving the space and, and, and liking, you know, obviously to, to talk about products and teach and create content. But, but I also love building technology and, and I like to disrupt, you know, I like to disrupt businesses and in the world of finance, there's very few true disruptors and I've reached a point in my life where I can create, where we have the capital to create disruption and it's kind of a neat thing. You know, we can mess with fees that, that big firms can't take the risk in doing. We can mess with technology. The platform you're about to see today is, um, is a high frequency platform. It's the first of its kind. So what that means is that you're on a high, high frequency trading backbone. Um, so it's about 20 milliseconds from the time it leaves your computer till you actually get your fills. And, and it's about, you know, 30 to 40 times faster than any other retail platform out there. Um, it's, it's also designed by the same team that we used to design TOS 20 years ago, but, but same designers that they're now, the person that designed that is now the CTO here with me and, and at Tastyworks. And, um, it's just an incredibly simple platform, which we're able to deliver speed, no bloat, uh, um, really low, low, low rates. And I'll go over those with you in a second. And, and also all the content and, and logic behind the functionality. It's a quantitative based platform. So we're not big into fundamentals. We're not big into technicals. Everything we do is on the quant size, on the quant side. And um, it's the fastest growing platform in the world right now. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm honored, you know, to have the opportunity. I would do this every day if I could. Um, speak to customers all around the world and it's people like it's it's our marketing partners and our our friends and our channel partners like Fausto and and um, and others that that you know give us an opportunity to to speak to their to their to their loyal clients to their customers to their friends and introduce them to things that you normally wouldn't see on the chat today Fausto just so you know um, so so we have three offices in Chicago we have two that um, uh, two that are staffed right now and one that we're building out for some, some, some new startups that we have. But the um, office I'm in is our, is our studios and the office that Scott and uh, I believe Scott and Chris are in today uh, 
is our trade desk and our dev firm, and that's where our brokerage firm is, Tastyworks. So you have on the CEO of Tastyworks, Scott Sheridan, and you have Chris Grayson, who is um, who's in charge of, uh, who handles all risk there. And so you've got the top of the food chain. So if you have any questions, so that um, on our side, obviously Fausto questions send to Fausto, but if you have any questions on Tastyworks, myself, Scott, anything about our business rates, anything like that, um, we have a policy of no, no questions off limits. So ask anything you want. Scott and Chris are on and they'll be on for the next hour and they can basically, you know, help you with any topic you want. And then Fausto and I can just focus on, you know, delivering you the best content so we don't have to take any questions, you know, in, in throughout the course of, of this discussion. One of the things I mentioned a couple seconds ago, Fausto, do you mind if I just keep going? Is that what, is that what you want me to do? I, we didn't have a chance to, to talk ahead of this. No, that's fine. You could take over. I just put a chat in before because I saw AMD just, the earnings did come out and it tanked and it just kind of a little rebound. So it will be good to kind of like even show something very active in the after hours on the platform. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, AMD is down a buck and a half right here. You can see it. It's, it's 32, 33 and it closed at 33, 87. So it dropped all the way down to 30, 31, actually 30, 50. It yeah. Looks like. yeah, it came right back now and it's just, it traded 60 million shares today, which is a lot, but um, Apple's going to be the big one. It's coming out at uh, 3.30. And if you watch the NASDAQ futures right here, they're down 39 right now. When you see the NASDAQ futures react, you'll know exactly what Apple's going to do because the futures will actually react before, you know, before Apple does. But I'll get into that. If, Fausto, if you want to jump in at any point during this discussion, I, you know me, I'll just keep going. And if you want to jump in at any point, you have a comment you want to make, you want to touch on something, ask a question, please just do. And I'll just I'll just keep going until I hear from you. How's that? Yeah, no, pro yeah, no problem. Like, listen, it, it, that, that's the whole idea. Like, if I see something that I want to, you know, put my uh, thought of education regarding about to help the traders understand something, because the whole idea, uh, Tom, is that I think a lot of people here is not just more or less knowing how good the tasty the tasty works platform works and what makes you separate from different platforms, but a lot of these people don't just don't understand that they get confused with these platforms and. Sure. They don't realize that, it, you know, like, I, like when I teach people, I tell everybody, my job is not to teach you how to make money. It's to teach you how to stop losing it. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's real. That's what I, you have to learn. I, uh, I look at it a little bit different. So, because I'm not, a, I'm not a classic teacher. My, I feel like my role is twofold. My role is one to build really cool technology to give you access to the marketplace. And two, um, uh, I feel like m my role is to, create content and engage. And what I want to do is engage people in finance so that they become passionate about strategic finance. And that's what we do. We build kind of concepts around strategic finance and let people, you know, try to make their own decisions. I'm one of those traders and, and I'm a very active trader. Today I traded, you know, um, I don't know, made 75 trades today, a lot of earnings trades, but I made about 75 trades today. I made I made 99 trades on, on uh, I'm sorry, 90 trades yesterday and 99 trades on Friday. So, so I'm pretty active in the marketplace. So I'm one of the few, you know, content providers slash developers that, that both build content and technology, but also actively trade these markets. And around earnings times, you know, like right now, um, we're busy. Yesterday, it was Beyond Meat that was probably the most actively traded stock. And, and today, you know, clearly it's, it's going to be Apple like it always is when it's time for, you know, for Apple earnings. Even though I did trade a little of AMD, I did trade a little bit of, of Amgen, I did trade a little bit of EA. They all have earnings this afternoon. Um, but the primary positions are in, in things like Apple. So, um, so the big thing, Tom, is everybody has to understand is because I, I get I get this question all the time. Do you practice what you preach? And because uh, you always get somebody that because sure. there's so many people out there that sure. question everybody of out course. there. And, and, and yes, you know, it, including myself. And that's why, you know, I, I let everybody know this, that, uh, yeah, there, there are a lot of people out there that are great traders and it's great educators and terrible ones. And, you know, and that's one of the big things you got to look at it. You know, that we practice what we preach. And one of the, one great thing I love about the Tom's platform is stuff like, and, and what he's talking about a little bit opposite what I do as being an educator, he has a passion for, you know, technology, just like I do. I mean, it, it, that's what it's all about. I mean, this is what people don't understand, Tom is that people are still stuck today thinking 
forget about the broker calling up the telephone. I mean, that's like, you know, that that's like, you know, the stone ages, but they don't realize that there's a big difference from dealing with, you know, with, with your typical fidelity or account or whatever it may be on, you know, they don't realize the technologies involved to get that execution executed immediately, how it's getting executed. I mean, sometimes when I just do a demonstration just to show people how you, how you place a bid and offer out there, they're overwhelmed and it just really opens up their eyes where they realize they've been trading blind. But I guess that's what we're going to really cover and show them how the platform yeah, works. Sure. Sure. And, and I, I think again, you know, from, from my standpoint, it, it, the, the platform, a good piece of technology should be, should be a vision of um, should be simple. And it also should contain your vision of like kind of how the flow should work. I think that individual investors should have their focus on being able to decide what to do at order entry. The one thing you can control is order entry. After order entry, it's very difficult to control positions. Um, I believe in trading actively. I've made probably, when you say practice breach, I, I, I've made about 7,000 trades so far in the first six months of this year. And I use, you know, I have about, I don't know, anywhere from four to 700 positions on at all times. So I'm pretty active in the marketplace and I'm a retail customer. Just like everybody, just like everybody on today. So, um, just, so Tom, the question I have to ask you is this, because a lot of people are going to ask us. They, they, literally, what you just said just blew the hell the mind out of me. You know how hard it is to make someone just to hit the to hit the button just to buy something, and people are still hooked on training mode. I mean, that, that's sure. you're right. That's active trader. Yeah. So, the, the question people ask you is, and and I think this is going to come up on your platform. People are like, how do you how do you know where all these positions are? How do you know? And like I tell everybody, which I know what you are, is a tape reader, you know? I say, listen, we need to know how to read the tape. That's what we were trained on. But um, like explain to everybody, like how how could you know where all those positions are at one time? Oh, well, that that comes with you know, like anything else, it kind of comes with experience. And and I think you you know, most people, the average customer that we have, and the reason this is a fast growing platform, the average customer trades about makes about 1200 trades a year, which is anywhere from, you know, which is an average of about four a day, but you'd be surprised when you trade small, you're able to trade more often because, because you're not tying up capital. As an individual investor, and this goes to, you know, to everybody that's on today, as an individual investor, the most, the, the most precious resource you have, of course, other than your brain and other than an intellectual challenge, which this all is, but the most precious resource you have is capital. And, and what's happening in 2019 is that capital efficiency is becoming, is moving to the forefront of, of strategic investing of, of basically, you know, of everything that we talk about from both a quantitative level and a, a learning tech level, a content level. It's, it's really all about um, using your capital efficiency, you, using your capital efficiently. I was just watching Apple here. It opened up. It's <laughs> out of its mind. It's all over the place. It opened up a couple of bucks. Now it's uh, then it was down a buck, and now it's basically unchanged. It's crazy. It pr that. printed out at two fourteen. It dropped down to two oh six, and it's yeah. like. So when when the number first comes out, and I'll, I'll say this just before I get into the actual discussion, but when a number first comes out, there's a lot of like people that have bu have built their own little um, bots. It's not really a high frequency bot. They're more like customer bots. And what they try to do is they try to guess based on the, the number that was expected. They try to guess whether that number is good or bad. And then the bots try to make a quick little, you know, after hours purchase. Um, it's ex incredibly difficult. I don't think there's any money to be made that way. Most people that trade after hours are either trying to do some really quick speculation and a scalp, or they're just adjusting their option positions right now. So let's get into Apple and let's talk about the platform for a sec. So, the expected move today, and I'm just going to show you kind of some of the things that we um, look at on the platform. The expected move today was about um, was about nine dollars, and this is at, just before we get into kind of all the stuff. So the expected move is about nine dollars, and the expected move by August expiration was about ten dollars. You see, this is a plus and minus. So this technology builds everything into it, um, builds the plus or minus the expected move, which is based solely on this implied volatility number. And these are the weekly options that expire on Friday. It's only Tuesday. So the expected move between now and Friday was $9. The actual move right now is about $5. So we call this inside the expected move. Implied volatility delivers you what's, what, is, what is called the expected move. And the actual move is the realized move. 
So the expected move was probably, I, I'm going to say it's closer to $8 today, just because if we open up August options, and I don't need to see all these, so hang on, let me just close. I mean, if we open up August options and we look right around the at the money strike, it's probably about $8 is the at the money straddle. So, so there's about an $8 expected move and $9 by this Friday, $8 by tomorrow. And the actual move right now is just about $5, a little bit over $5, actually five and a half dollars. So this is what earnings players would call a home run. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's up. It doesn't matter whether it's up or down. It just matter, matters whether it's inside the expected move. Every trade we made today, Fausto, in Apple was just betting that it would end up inside of that eight or nine dollar expected move. So, for example, you know, the positions, I can show you some of the positions that we put on today and here alone, just in August. I'll show you just August positions because they're on this side of the platform. You know, we sold the two 17 and a half calls and we sold the 195 and 197 and a half puts. This is just like, you know, an 80 lot strangle. And that's a classic earnings play for us, betting that, betting that, the, that this stock would end up somewhere between 195 and 197 on the downside and 217 on the upside with a couple of dollars in cushion, you know, if the stock, you know, happens to go up a little bit higher than that. And that's a classic earnings play for us. But I'll get into, you know, a lot, a lot more of that as, you know, as, as the show, as the discussion goes on. So here's the neat thing about, here's the neat thing about Tastyworks. And, um, and again, you can fire up any questions you have to Scott or Chris or anything else. When we started building financial technology back in 1999, and it was Scott and myself, and we put together a team, and this is after we had traded together for almost 20 years, we, start, we threw a lot of stuff at the wall. And we threw like really complex um, pieces of technology together in an application where we weren't sure what customers or what we really wanted to see ourselves. That was 20 years ago. And we built probably an application that today does you know, 30, 35% of all the retail business. We don't own that anymore. So when we went on, after we built the first piece of technology, we went on to build some really cool content. And in the process of building content, we decided, you know what? We really need technology that speaks to our content. So we built Tastyworks. In the Tastyworks platform, um, the nice, the first thing you notice when you use it is that the platform never moves. What that means is there's no additional windows that need to pop up. There's nothing that needs, you need, don't need to move around. You can never mess up this platform. The left-hand sidebar, which is this, where the market, where my um, uh, watch list is, never changes. Meaning you can have any watch list you have, but this watch list always stays on the left-hand side of the page. In the middle, there's always your quote, and then there's an option layout if you prefer. If you prefer a table mode, this is a classic option layout. If you prefer a curve mode, I'll show you in a second, it will show you a, a, a probability curve or a distribution curve. If you prefer an active mode, we'll show you kind of a ladder type technology in an active mode. If you prefer analysis, we'll give you a detailed analytical layout of what you, of what you need to see or what you want to see. The, again, the beauty of this platform is that it never, you never get lost in it. Market view on the left-hand side all the activity takes place in the center. And like even, I'll show you, well, let me wait, just wait a second. Um, if you click on, forget Apple for one second, but let's say I clicked on Amazon, just as an example. I click on Amazon in the left-hand column. It pops in Amazon at the top of the page. It pops in Amazon quotes over here. It pops in Amazon into the order book down here. It pops on an Amazon position, which I currently don't have in this account over here. It would pop on all the Amazon fills over here. And if I wanted to see, you know, like a chart of Amazon, it would pop in right here. So nothing ever moves. If I wanted to go back to Apple, I can just click on Apple and it goes right back to Apple. There's your chart of Apple. Here's your trade page of Apple. Here's Apple positions. Here's all Apple. If I want to see all Apple fills, these are all Apple fills today in here. Well, the market's at this day fills so up here. Um, these are all Apple fills today. Um, just Apple alone. If I want to see a day chart of Apple, it's up here in the corner. If I want to see quote details of Apple, it's up here if I want to see that. And then position detail here. So everything I need to know about Apple is always right in front of me. You know, like, again, Apple fills over here, Apple positions over here, Apple trading page over here, Apple analytics will be down here. And it's just, it's completely 
different than any other application. Um, you know, it, it's completely different than any other application. That, that's just the easiest way to say it. Nothing moves around. And if I want to see an Apple trade page, for example, I can open up September options and there's my Apple trade page. My market view never changes. None of this stuff ever changes until I get fills or anything like that. And our layout is very different from any other platform. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So, Tom, can I, can I, can I just add something in there? Sure. Um, so just to let everybody else know that when I first met Tom at his office at Think for the first time, um, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is classic because the platform that you, you're showing is exactly what happened. So I met Tom uh, when I first met him. I well, not the first time I met him. When I first met him at his office in Chicago. I, sa I went to his desk, and you remember your office. You were like right smack in the middle of everybody in the trading room. And Tom only had one monitor, all right? And I'll never forget this. And, he, and, he, and I, tell every, I, still, I still tell everybody this the same thing. Everybody. I'm like, I'm shocked. Tom. I was like, about what you, you tell me. He's like, you only have one monitor. I would think you would have like six, you know, like all these monitors. He's like, and you always said this and it stuck to my head. He says, Fausto, if you can't make money on one, how the hell are you going to make money with six? So the point that I'm getting to is that if you look at the platform, everyone, it's all under one monitor. You don't need six monitors. You don't need to have all these bells and whistles. He made it so it accommodates it. Um, to, to focus your eye on that one screen. I just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it should be noted. We build really cool mobile technology. In fact, as you'll see next week, we're probably launching the most incredible mobile app um, that, that anybody's ever put together. It, it's a little different than this. It's content-based, but we build really cool mobile stuff too. But the way, if you want to trade actively, it's very hard to trade on an iPhone. I mean, you can get quotes, obviously, and you can trade all products. And, and, our, and our logic really works on mobile app, but it's just... You need a little bit more screen space, but just like Fausto said, I am a one screen person, um, uh, um, absolutely, and I've always been that way. And I feel like when I show you what you can do on this on this application, you're on, on the on this software application, you're gonna you're gonna love some of the logic. So let's use Apple because it's in play. Again, the stock's only up right now a little less than six bucks, which is well inside the expected move, which is making a lot of tasty traders happy right now. Um, but let's just say this afternoon, you were thinking, oh, you know what? I want to put something on an Apple. So th the nice thing about this platform is it doesn't have any recognized memory. What that means is you don't have to have a recognized spread or something like that. Let me just close this up so I can make this platform very clean for you so you don't have to worry about, you know, looking at just lots of moving numbers. Um, let's say you wanted to sell just you were in the mood to sell the, the 220 call. You wanted to get short Apple today. So you sell the 220 calls. And this platform, you want to sell a call, you just click on the bid. And that's kind of, you know, industry-wide kind of classic logic right now. But let's say you wanted to make it a spread. You don't have to enter anything as a spread. You just click on the, let's say, 230 calls. And now you have a $10 wide call spread. But let's say you're like, hmm, $10 wide, $1.95. I want to collect some more money. So you want to make it a $15 wide, you just drag it, one strike. So you don't have to, you never have to actually take your mouse off the page. Let's say you're like, hey, you know what? 236 isn't that, isn't that much. I'm going to make it $20 wide. I'm going to drag the 220s down to the 215s. Now I'm collecting $4, but you know what? I'm like, okay, I don't want to take that much risk. So I'll make it $15 wide. Now it's 359. I like that one. And so the platform just lets you drag. Now, the other nice thing is, this is, this is a classic, you know, call credit spread, short call credit spread, and it's one-to-one. -one. But let's say you're like, okay, well, I want to turn this into, I want to turn this into something different. Like I want to turn this into what we would call a back spread, which is, which is sell one and buy two. You can change this quantity right here. And again, without doing anything else, now you have a one by two. This is what we call a back spread. Um, and it's just a completely different way of utilizing different strategies. Like, let's say, you know, hey, you know what, that's kind of neat, but I'd rather do a ratio spread. So you drag the short side above the long side. And now, you know, if you, if you, all I have to do is change the quantity back. Let me just do this. Now I change the quantity back. And now I have a two by three ratio spread long one, short three, I'm sorry, long two, short three, or now I have a classic ratio spread of long one, short two. And again, all I did was just 
you know, adjust. All I did was just adjust quantity because the platform doesn't care what you do. So again, if I wanted to sell the 215s and buy the 225s and do a 10 point wide call spread, no problem. If I wanted to make it 15 points wide, no problem. 20 points wide, or you just go back to five points wide. Now let's say I leave this five point wide call spread and I say, hey, you know what? I like that, but I also want to sell a put against it. That's a classic Jade Lizard. Short, short, short and out of the money put, short and out of the money call spread. Classic Jade Lizard. So that would be something you'd be like, okay, well, I almost have no risk to the upside in here. That's an interesting play, but I'm not sure I want to do, I don't want that all that downside risk and all that capital required. So I'll buy the 190 puts and now I have an iron condor on. So that's a classic iron condor. But now I want to make it a skewed iron condor. So I'll widen out the put side, make it $10 wide and only do a $5 wide spread on the call side. And you're like, okay, well, that's cool. But I mean, I'll just make it a $10 wide iron condor. See, I did all of that without adjusting a single leg and, and having to re-click and reconfigure or do anything like that. I just did anything I wanted to do and I can create any quantity of any one of these legs if I wanted to do it that way and all with a single click. So I go, okay, finally, this is the trade I like. This is the iron condor I want to route. You just double click on review and send and there's the order. And again, this is high frequency. So you're looking at a real platform here. If you want to cancel it, you don't have to go to another page. You don't have to do anything else. You just right click, cancel order, trade's gone. And that's how fast it is. It's blink of an eye speed. And then you go back out here and you start again. Okay, well now I'm going to try to sell this, buy this, sell this. And I like this jade lizard. No, I'll make it a wide iron condor. Okay, I'll skewed iron condor, unbalanced, whatever it is. And that's it, real simple. And if you're like, hey, you know what? That's cool, but I don't really know how to do this. I'd rather just kind of do a jade lizard in a classic way. You can just go up here to the top, choose any one of these, um, any one of these spreads. So if I wanted to short an iron condor, you can let the system pick it out for you too, and then just adjust it if you want to. And then if you said, you know what? That's all kind of cool, but I want to spread these out a little bit more. I want to you know, give myself a little skewed risk, like maybe move the call side down or the put side down or whatever it is. Then what you can do is, if you're a visual person, you can go up to the curve mode and you can see it all visually. Well, I make money here because it's an iron condor inside of the distribution curve. I lose money up here and I lose money down here. And then if you said, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit more risk. I'll widen out the put side. You can do it. Just drag these tiles. So you can trade from a curve mode, which gives you a visual, which for some people, especially when you're first starting out, the visual is really cool. And we have lots of customers that use this visual mode. Or if you're an ex more experienced and you're used to a table mode, you can go just flip over the table mode. And you can go to the analysis and you can adjust, obviously, you can adjust price and volatility and dates and times and, and, and quantities and everything else. The other nice, the other kind of really neat thing we do is when you set up an iron condor like this, we give you a lot of information about the trade. So right here, without going to a different page, we build in a set of analytics. Pop is probability of profit. So on this particular iron condor, given the expected move, which is $13 by September, we look at this pop, it's 54% probability of profit. This is the amount of extrinsic premium generated by a five lot. I should change these. Let me just change this quantity to one. So if I did this spread one time, the probability of profit is 54%. The amount of extrinsic premium, that's how much juice am I keeping? $289. What is the expectation on that $289? Well, it's about 25%, or you can figure it, let's just say about, you know, somewhere around $75 is the expectation of what you can keep. P50 is what are the probability of making 50% of max profit? And it's exactly 50%. This is your delta. This is your, this is your delta. This is how much delta risk, how many shares of Apple is this trade actually equate to? And it's four shares of Apple. This number here is the amount of daily decay or $1.27 a day in daily decay. That's, that's how much money you make if you don't get hit by a bus essentially with this position. Then you have max profit over here. And then, and then of course, in this case, your max loss is the difference between the, the credit received and the width of the strikes. But what's neat about this is the, again, are the analytics built in to the trade page, which is completely flexible built into multiple views of the trade page. And then if you want other stuff, like for example, you wanna see a watch list, it's built right into the center here. If you wanna see a chart, it's built right into the center here. 
if you want to follow every single trade that I make, this is every trade I made today. We show it on here. So we even let you see this stuff along with the existing, along with a bunch of people that work for us on our research team and on our, you know, as, as part of this firm. We do that because we are extremely transparent, unlike any other firm. I've worked with CEOs in the world of finance. I've worked with a lot of CEOs in the world of finance and nobody even trades. You know, if you're on CNBC, you're not allowed to trade. If you're on Bloomberg, you're not allowed to trade. If you work for Tasty Trade, you're encouraged to trade. We want people that talk the talk, that walk the walk, that build the technology, that use the technology, that are part of the culture that we build because it's so damn important, you know, to have everybody kind of on the same page and understand a lot of the same stuff. Um, so that's the simplicity of this platform. When you look at it, here's like September options. The dots mean I have a position there. 52 days is the number of days to expiration. We make everything as simple as possible. Implied volatility is 26%. Expected move is $13, higher or lower. And up here on the top, we do something that nobody else does, which is we show you implied volatility rank. So we show you, and I'll take you to this page here, and I'll, this is what we call, for example, these are all the stocks that I have currently have positions in. And of the stocks that have been around, Beyond Meat, Dell, Lyft are, are new stocks, meaning that they're, they're, they don't have an IV rank yet. But of the stocks we have positions in, this shows you the ones with the highest implied volatility rank measured against themselves. That means in our world, there's the most opportunity for volatility contraction because volatility is a mean reverting math equation. If I want to see the positions I have on with the least amount of opportunity today. And by the way, we also show things like beta. We also show things like correlation. I just don't have it on this particular layout. We show and we, we, have our, we built our own liquidity index to show you what's liquid. But like stocks with the least amount of opportunity as of today, for example, Tesla, because Tesla had earnings this week. The IV rank is 1.4. EWW, which is a Mexican ETF. Microsoft, they're all down under 10. EWZ, which is Brazil. Um, these are just stocks with low implied volatility rank. Uh, under Armour, because it came out last night with earnings. You know, Google, because it came out with earnings two days ago. Facebook, because it just came out with earnings. So there's just, there's a ton of information embedded inside the platform, which is all sortable, which is all fairly unique to the space. I mean, there's only so much kind of what we say unique stuff that you can do. Oops, I don't want this. Only so much unique stuff you can do. But what we've done is we put it all in front of you. And then here's a really neat part. Let's say we go back to this iron condor. And let's say, let me just close this order for a second. So let's say, for example, you wanted to sell one, let's say you wanted to sell one call. I'll do it right here. You want to sell one 220 call in Apple. And you, it doesn't matter what price it is. You sold one 220 call in Apple. And then you're sitting there going, you know, that's, that's cool. How much is that going to cost me? Well, we don't have any ticket charges. So to sell this one call costs a dollar. Now to buy that one call back costs zero. So one of the things we've done is we only charge commissions to, set, to open a trade. So if you bought this to open instead of close it, I'll do this. If you bought this, we charge you for one contract, we charge you $1. And so if you do, and when, if you bought it for three twenty five dollars and then sold it out for whatever, you'd pay one to open and zero to close. But we get, we take it a little couple steps further. Let's say you bought three contracts because you're never going to be disadvantaged by trading size. So you buy three contracts and the next thing you know, we charge you $3, $3 to open, zero to close. But let's say we take this up and we do it as 10 contracts. We charge you $10, same thing, $10 to open, zero to close. But if you like to trade a little bit bigger and, and, and you want to do you know, more stuff on the platform, if you trade 20 contracts, we only charge you $10. We cap everything at $10. So if you decided you wanted to go up to, let's just say, 200 contracts, it's still only $10. And let's say you wanted to trade 200 spreads. So you, you're, you're selling 200 215s, buying 220s. For this, we charge $10 a leg, $20 total for 200 contracts. So it's only $20. And if you wanted to do an iron condor, 
and you wanted to do an iron condor, let's just say you want to do an iron condor in this case, and, and you wanted to do it, I don't know, a hundred times. It's only $10 a leg for a total of $40. That's about 80% cheaper than the other platforms. So it's way faster, way easier to use, has way more functionality as far as, you know, as far as complex, complex technology, and it's up to 80% cheaper. And if you wanted to do one, back to one contract, $1. And then the other nice thing about this is, let's say you said, you know what? All right, I'm, I'm kind of done with Apple here. I want to trade the S&Ps tonight because they're open right now. So if you trade the S&Ps, it's the same thing. Futures, options, options on futures, all the same stuff. I can, this market is, what time is it? 3.52. So this market's open right now. If I wanted to trade um, August 16th, let's just say, and I wanted to route something in here, I will, let me, let me just get rid of the underline. Let's say I want to route a 3020 call, which is just an, just a, just out of the money call. I'm just gonna go above the market. And I put it in at 30 bucks right now. I should be able to route this right now. There, there's your order and it's resting and it's live. And if I want to cancel, you just go to cancel order. So this platform works the exact same way for stocks, for options, and for futures, and for futures, and for options on futures. And the logic for options on futures works the same way. And we don't have any levels. Like you don't have to be, you can be, you can be approved for any level, regardless of the amount of money you have in your account, as long as you want to be approved for any level. And the other nice thing is, if you have an IRA account, and you wanted to trade futures or futures options in your IRA account, you can. If you have a regular, um, a regular margin account, and you said, you know what, I'm gonna open my IRA account up with Tastyworks because I really love this technology. One of the other nice things is, we're the, uh, I believe the only firm, there may be somebody else, I'm not sure, will allow you to sell naked calls, cash secured in your IRA account. So we'll just require you put up the amount of capital just like you would to sell a naked put. Oops, I'm sorry. Just like we would to sell a naked put. We don't care if you sell a naked put, a naked call, or a naked put and call in your IRA account. We'll allow you to do all that. So we have much more liberal rules when it comes to what you can do strategically. We have much more, um, uh, we've relaxed the, the suitability requirements because we don't believe anybody should be restricted from what they can do. We offer all the products integrated into a single platform because we think that that's super, um, that's super important for people to have an opportunity to make money. You should not be limited by the amount of capital you have to what strategy you can do. That's, what, that's the old school method. Scott and I changed that 20 years ago when we built Toss and we've gone to a whole nother level now with Tastyworks. People with smaller accounts, were always disadvantaged. They were disadvantaged by what they could trade, but product wise, they were disadvantaged by the strategies they could use. And they were um, disadvantaged by the commissions because they always had to pay a ticket charge. We have none of that, no minimums, no ticket charges. So what happens is small investors, small traders, trade small, trade often, do whatever you wanna do. You're at no disadvantage to anybody else. You're on the level playing field, high frequency wise, with the, um, with the best technology on the street for prop firms, and you are at a, on a level playing field with fees and functionality, and the platform's not bloated. So it doesn't, there's no slowness anywhere. The quotes, you, you, you probably have never, if you're not using Tastyworks, you probably have never seen quotes like this. They are not throttled at all. So they're not delayed. I don't know of any other major platform that, that has what's called real real-time quotes, we do. And so unthrottled quotes, high, high frequency speed throughout the platform, simple to use for stock options, futures and futures options, all integrated into a single platform. And anything you do, like for example, if tonight, I just got a bug up my butt tonight, and I decide, hey, you know what? I feel like trading, let's just say tonight, because I have a bunch of positions in corn. And because the IV rank in corn is 72, even though I'm trading Apple right now, I just want to trade corn tonight. So I can look at, at something like this on, on um, I have my corn position right here. And commodity positions are way smaller than, than 
option positions. If I have my corn position here, I can trade corn tonight starting at whatever it is, 7.30, whenever, whenever the corn market opens. Or you know what? I go, yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't want to trade corn tonight. Maybe I'm going to trade British pound. Okay. And then you can go out and do British pound. You can trade, make pairs trades, trade the options or do whatever you want, trade the S&Ps or even trade pre and post market stock. If I wanted to trade, for example, you know, AMD stock right now, which I don't really have, you know, an, I don't really have an ax to grind, but just for the purposes, I think we have about a minute left here, just for the purposes of, of this discussion. So, you know, I can, if I wanted to, I can trade AMD stock. And I just put an order away from the market a little bit, but you know, we'll see. All right, if I don't, cancel, boom. Um, so, oops, you know what? Let me show you something, I did that. I, let me do this, extended hours, AMD, I'll just do 100 shares. I just missed it. <laughs> it, it, it after hours, the stock moves up, stocks jump around a ton. And so, um, let's see, I'll unlock this, I'll go to the market. So take a quick fill just so you can see it. And then I can go right up here, hit close position, um, extended hours, that's all you have to do, and then done, I'm out. So it was just, I scratched the trade, but just to show you how fast it is on the platform, how easy it is to use this platform. And for stocks, we charge the exact same thing. It's $5 to open the trade and zero to close. So it's significantly less, like if you're at Schwab, Fidelity, E-Trade, TD, I think they all charge between you know five dollars and seven dollars to buy stock, and then five dollars and seven stock to sell stock, and then we're we're a fraction of that five dollars in and out or two fifty each way. So it is um, much less expensive and 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 significantly faster, up to forty times faster. And then again, there's tons of features throughout this platform. I don't have time to go through every one of them, but but the platform has a, a lot of depth to it. And at this point. At this point, it it caters to, you know, people that like to trade. That's it. It's not, you know, um, there's nothing nothing else to it that's that's um, uh, that's crazy. It's just very simple, very straightforward. It'll take you about five minutes to learn how to use it, and then you'll be waiting to hear the ding, just like Fausto. Like and I always say, uh, the, the the best way to learn is just just, just buy something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll know, and then you can figure it out from there. But Tom, there was a couple of questions I had to ask you. I was listening okay. to the chat while people were coming across. Uh, one of them uh, is very, very popular. You know, you and I have been up in Canada all the time. Can Canadians open an account with you? Not yet, but we are working towards it. We just opened um, Tastyworks Australia. So it took us a while to get to Australia. We just opened Tastyworks Australia. So for all your, um, for all your Australian customers, if you have them, um, we, we're open there now officially. We have been, we're going through the re regulatory and registration process in Canada. It's taken us over a year, but um, we just had a team up there two weeks ago. We have a team going up in the very near future. We are trying to wrap up the regulatory piece. We will be in Canada flat out. We'll be there. It's taken us a long time to find a firm that, that's going to clear us. We finally found somebody. The problem in Canada that's run by five or six large banks and there are not a lot of independent clearing firms. And so we're not gonna build a clearing firm in Canada. It's, it's just ridiculously expensive. It's expensive enough just to build a brokerage firm there. So I did build Thinkorswim in Canada years ago and we had to sell it to TD Bank. It was a requirement of our last deal. But this time we're building Tastyworks Canada and, um, and it will be launched as soon as we get regulatory approval. All right, good. Uh, yeah, because uh, there's a lot of people up there. I mean, you know, we this a lot of Canadians lo love it, and it's uh, that's good. So you, you said you have Australia. Any other um, any other countries or that that you're also in? Oh, we support about sixty five different countries. They're all on our um, you can, they're, they'll go right on our Tastyworks website. Yeah, about sixty five different countries you can open an account in. Um, but Australia and Canada, like there's a certain countries, Australia, Canada, and Hong Kong that you have to get licensed in. So we got licensed in. Australia, we're going for Canada now, and then we'll go to Hong Kong, you know, after that. Okay, good. And uh, what's, what's the minimum to open an account with your platform? $2,000. 2000 And the reason it's 2000 and it's less obviously in an IRA account, but in, the reason it's 2000 is because that is the minimum requirement set by FINRA, not by us, for having a margin account. And to be able to use this platform effectively, you really should have a margin account. Okay. And to, and to, to, to demo your platform, you got to have, you have to have a live account, correct? 
Okay, so we did something really cool, Faust. So I didn't even have a chance to tell you about this yet. Okay, good. So we have something right now, and it's not, I mean, it's not for right now. We're going to leave it going for a while. We built a virtual platform for people that want to demo the account, and it's called, it's called our trading challenge. It's tastyworks.com slash challenge. Now, what that is is you can go and you can sign up for a Tastyworks account, and we will give you $5,000, and for two days, you can trade stock. So, so wait till one morning when you're ready to start, and you have two full trading days, and you can trade as, as much as you can do with $5,000, you can trade it, and any money that you make up to $250, you can keep. It's, it's virtual, but it's in real time, and so, you know, we have people, we have thousands of people that are doing it right now, and if they, and, and that want open accounts with us that want to check out our software, it's not options. In this case, we did it just for stocks to make it simple. But if you want to check out the logic and check out the functionality and get real-time quotes for two days, you can play around with the platform. You can actually trade on it. And if you lose money, it doesn't mean a damn thing. And uh, that's, that's our problem. And if you make money and you open an account and fund it, we'll add that money to your account. Wait, wait, time out, time out. I, I'm lost here. So you're telling me that you for two days, yeah. you're allowing people, you're giving them how much buying power? For, for new account, new people, right. We're new giving people. You, we're giving you $5,000. $5,000 uh, to, to, to not paper trade, to trade yep. a real account. Yep. Yep. That's unheard of. I know. We just launched it about, about a month ago, and it's been we, – we don't advertise it on our site because we're, we're doing it through you know, our own separate marketing engines, but it's out there, tastyworks.com slash challenge. So, and, so, so if you lose the money – they don't take it because obviously no, they, there's no account. You don't even have an account with us. Right. But if they make money, you keep it. They keep it. That's awesome. Yeah. No, it's great for transplant. Listen, people aren't doing it because people want to see how good our technology is. So here's a chance to see how good our technology is. You can buy stocks, you can sell stocks. Now you can only use $5,000. So it's not, um, you know, so, so that's your limitation. Do, do you know what I'm saying? So, right. so, so but, um, uh, but you can test out the speed of our platform and it's easy to trade stock on the platform. You want to buy something, you click on the offer. You want to sell something, you click on the bid. That's it. Right. And right, right. Now, now, of course, you wouldn't be able to do it with $5,000. You wouldn't be able to buy, you know, 500 shares. Like, like if you, let's say you were trading AMD right now with 5,000 bucks, you'd be able to do a hundred shares, 150 shares. Yeah. Cause it's, it's, so you basically, that is not paper trading. That's actually having a live account. No, that's actually having a live account. No, that's it's right. Um, it's, it's, we set up a virtual environment and we're honoring it. Um, and so anybody, you know, you have two days. It's all, it's, it's, it's actually a really super cool piece of technology we built. It's the same platform and you go through it. All you do is open up accounts. You know, you have to create a username and password. You download the software. It takes you, the whole thing takes you less than, less than five, seven minutes. And, and then you go for two days and see how you do. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, I, I, and that, I, way, that way you can have no complaints and say, hey, I didn't get a chance to check out the platform. You know, the reason we didn't want to build paper trading yet is because it takes a lot of resources from us. And, and it's, it's, it's just, it's a lot of maintenance. It's a lot of resources. We, want, we like when people actually test out the platform. Like we know how good our stuff is. We just, you know, and so we're happy. This is a, it's an easy do for us. If we, you know, if you get the toll 250, congratulations. If you get, you know, if you get less than that, a hundred, whatever, whatever, you can't lose. So it can only be a positive number. And, and, and I mean, I'm sorry, you can lose, the account can lose, but you don't get charged anything. So right, right. All, all you can do is make money. And also when you open an account, I don't know if everybody knows this, but in the end of this year, we are launching our own futures exchange. When I say our own, we're partnered with lots of big firms, but we created a futures exchange called the small exchange. And it's coming out at the end of this year, we get regulatory approval. If you sign up for a new account in 2019 at Tastyworks, you get a subscription to the small exchange. It, it's, it's, it costs $100 if you don't open an account at Tastyworks and you want to buy a subscription. But if you open an account, you get this $100 subscription and it's good for life. That cuts your exchange fees in half for life if you use the futures products from the small exchange. And the small exchange futures products are like the micro products from the CME, except they're all brand new. It's, it was our idea and we are really excited to be able to offer customers a capital efficient alternative to just having to use stocks. 
So for example, if you wanted to trade the equivalent of a $32 stock, instead of having to put up um, $1,500 with margin or $3,200 in cash, you'll put up the equivalent of $200 on the small exchange. So it's a very interesting, we're in the process of doing something that's super interesting. Anybody that opens an account, they will, they'll get to participate in that. So it's a wild, you know, that's part of the disruption <clears throat> that we bring to the table. Yeah, I know. You, you, you know what, Tom? People can't keep up to you. you, you you're driving these brokerage firms crazy. <laughs> with the, I think it all started when you when you change your commission structure, because that was the other big thing with your new construction, uh, your, your new commission structure that you charge on the way in, you don't charge on the way out. So, which well, I, I want to mess up. I want to mess up the exchanges too, because I think exchanges, but because they're all publicly traded and they're all just focused on the bottom line, the fees they charge to individual investors are way too high. The exchange fees. I also think that exchanges rip off individual investors when it comes to data. So we're building an exchange that will only charge for data when you use it. So if you make a trade, you pay a little extra data fee, but if you don't, you get the data for free and we'll give you the data to do, to do quantitative analysis with as well. And in addition to that, the exchange fees will be 25 to 50% of what the CME charges and there'll be a fraction of what the IC charges. We don't even offer their products, but, wow. but the, the important thing for us is we're getting the trading costs. If, if I can give your customers and everybody that listens to you the ability to trade at, at virtually the same rates that professionals do with the same speed, then what it really boils down to is just mechanics. Right. And I want the playing field to be level so that individual investors, you don't have an edge. There's no edge, but there's mechanics that you can follow, which are really important which give individual investors the ability to be strategic over the next decade. And I think over from between you know, 2019 and 2030, there's gonna be a huge transition from passive investing to active investing. And active investing could be everything from a covered call to a complex you know, um, ratio spread to a skewed strangle, whatever it may be. It could be any of the above. It could be a combination of using futures options and, and, and stock options. There are gonna be many things. It could be a political bet combined with a futures trade, all of the above. But people that are starting out today, people that are strategic in 2019 with today's technology will have a huge leg up, a monstrous leg up on people that have sat back, been passive, and have not engaged with their own capital. And that's where we're trying to get people to go to. And it's just one more last question, Tom, regarding about your, 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 um, your app that's coming out. When's that going to be available? Well, we already have, um, on Tastyworks right now, we already have, you know, a mobile apps and they're, and they're really good, but we're building more content apps that we're going to, we're going to be making some very public announcements about next week. So I, okay. I'll, I'll save that to next week, but for now, we're really focused on, you know, on, on the technology that we have that I'm showing you right now, because this is what we've built for um, engaged, active investors for your demographic. And, and you know what, I'm, I keep getting the same question that keeps coming across of, um, in our chat. People are asking a lot about the IRA accounts. Sure, they should. Um, yeah, the, the question like, uh, like Donna's question, how about you bring over an IRA account, but I have the taxable account already? I, what, what do you mean? What, what's the question? How about if, if could, could, could you trade, could you trade an IRA account with, with your, with your broker term? Oh my God. Yeah. Not only can you trade an IRA account, Donna asked that question. Yeah. Donna, Donna, not only can you trade in an IRA account with us, but the stuff you can do in an IRA account with us is unlike any other firm out there. We let you trade stock options, futures and options on futures in your IRA account. We also let you sell naked options in your IRA account, naked options, naked calls, naked puts, and any option strategy you want in your IRA account. And we let you, and we let you do that um, pretty much across the board. So we have a aggressive, flexible, and I think, it's, it's, I think we create the same opportunities you would find, for example, in a, um, in a regular margin account. We create the same thing for an IRA account. We don't want any limitations on people you know, that, that should have an opportunity to make money. So we're pretty aggressive in that regard. So yeah, sure. And there's no fees to bring your IRA account over to us. And could you short on a, uh, uh, well, that's amazing, but could you short on a stock on your IRA with, if they open an no. account or just options? No, you can short, you can short options. You cannot short stock. Now that's something that we're fighting for, 
but we haven't convinced the trustees. Nobody allows that yet. Yeah, I know. But, okay. But right. you can short a future and you can short an option. You just can't short stock yet. Okay. All right. Well, Tom, I mean, uh, listen, all I can say is thank you so much for being here. I know, you know, uh, it, I listen, it's, it's always great to have you on and, uh, listen, everybody, they got the, everyone has a link up there to, to click on and register to get, uh, to open up an account and find out more about it, or maybe even try that two day trial. Listen, I, I'm just, I'm just, I fell off my chair when I heard that you're the first time I have ever heard someone taking that risk out there to do that, to show people, um, what it's like to actually be in, uh, you know, be, be, be in a trading platform and see what it's like. And, and, you know, like I said, demo, the problem with demo, Tom, is everybody likes to demo trade, but they just sit there and watch all day, you know, and, and you know what, you're giving that opportunity two days, Hey, hit the button, figure it out. Um, and then you'll, you'll know it's for you or not, but, uh, that's great. Uh, any last minute questions anyone have before we go for Tom? Do you have training? Oh, that was the other question. Uh, one person kept a lot of people asking, uh, Glenn was asking, do you have any trading videos on the platform? Oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All, when you go to the Tastyworks site, um, right on the right in the menu bar at the top, you can you can find the training videos. They're they're actually pretty extensive and they're well done. Um, so you can see all the training videos. And if you have any problem, just send an email to support at Tastyworks, or you can chat into support at Tastyworks, and those guys will point you in the direction. I mean, we do our support teams get back to you instantaneously. There's no delay, and it's all real time. And, and they're all of ridiculous levels of experience. So I think you'll love, you know, the, we've kind of always been the leader in support and, and we continue to do that. So I think you'll, you'll, you'll find that out in, in two seconds. Our, our, this platform, if you're on any other platform, this platform is super easy. I promise you. And you, and you know what's even better than watching those videos, everybody, is watch the show <laughs> because that's all you're showing on your show, right? You're doing your trades. See, every, you know, the videos are one thing. It's easy to explain and, and have, a, have the, you know, tutorial on it, but it's a thousand times better when you see someone trading off it and put, and put money at risk. So, listen, the videos are great, but when you watch it live, you know, it, it, it totally changes the whole way of looking at it. Um, and how the platform works. So uh, listen, Tom, listen, thanks so much for coming and uh, let me know when you're in town. Let's meet up and, uh, and for everybody here, thanks for taking the opportunity to stick, uh, stick around for your busy day, uh, going to this after hours. And uh, I know it's been uh, well, so a th Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You're the best. And um, thanks for all your help and over the years. And thanks for giving me this opportunity and, and keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> you too, Tom. It's always great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, the staff of Tasty Trade and Tasty Works for being here. The C2 staff for making this successful. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your trading day, and don't forget to get that demo and try it out with Tasty Trader, uh, Tasty Works. Do the promo with CTU. Good, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye, bye.